of the family, I'd get it. Mama told me I was gifted, never trust nobody else before God. Now that's religion, I'm success bound. The fake friends won't come around. Gotta get this weight up so I stay up. I'm pound for pound. Who can you trust in this world full of friends who turn fiends? Yo, what's, what's going up, on, what's ladies up? and gentlemen? This is Dub. And Nisha. Dub. And Nisha. This is Dub. And Nisha. Dub. And Nisha. Hey. hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with the video today. You feel me? Um, all right. So, Jada Pinkett Smith talks about <laughs> Will Smith's Oscar slap on Red Table Talk. Um, <laughs> wow. Thoughts, opinions? I mean, okay, so my opinion well, is. Well, we can watch the video first before you could <laughs> watch. She ready. She ready. But now, um, I have a lot to say. Yeah, we got a lot to unfold on this. So let's check it out first. You know what I'm saying? And then let's kind of give our opinion of what we think and feel after. You okay. know what I'm saying? We can do that. We married and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's right to give our I opinion. I defend you too sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's see. Yeah. All right, come on. Pinkett Smith is speaking out for the first time about the Oscars slap between Will Smith and Chris Rock. About Oscar night, my deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. It's the, the state of the world today, we need them both. And we all actually need one another more than ever. Until then, Will and I are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years. And let's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Thank you for listening. Pinkett Smith then spent the remaining time on her Red Table Talk show to discuss alopecia, a condition she has openly struggled with. Will Smith has been banned from the Academy Awards for the next 10 years Damn. over that slap. What? Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great AV. So, Mark. Um... <laughs> I feel like she really didn't say much, she my didn't. opinion. I feel like she didn't address it like I would have addressed it because I feel like you finally spoke out and people been waiting for you to voice your opinion about your man and defending him because it didn't look great, you know, yeah. in that situation. It did look like you kind of was upset so your man had to stand up and, you know, defend you. So in this situation, because it's been so long, you would think that when she finally spoke up, she'll be like, look, well, my man is a good guy. You know, he doesn't do this all the, you know, he doesn't do this out the blue. Y'all know he's a great guy. He's made multiple movies. You know, he's been there on the scene. So it's like, when you see that and you go to being like, maybe, hey, well, he did that because he was defending me and maybe it wasn't the right place. Maybe it's it wasn't the right good. time, but you know, it just would have sounded better if you would at least address the situation. Yeah, true enough. Everybody wants, you know, men to come together. Everybody wants not that not to happen. And it shouldn't have happened because you still want them both to be very successful in life. But I still would have addressed it a little bit better just because people been waiting on you to speak up on that. And you didn't really speak up on it to me. I feel like you gave a very, very vague response. And um, I feel like you could have went in a little bit further for your man. Like he was was 10 years to be excluded from the academy like come on now like that's a big 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 yeah. thing for him and it's like i don't feel like you're supporting him i mean maybe i'm wrong you know y'all can comment and let me know but that's just how i feel i feel like i feel like when you finally spoke out it should have been more i just feel like it should have been more it wasn't enough for me and we don't know what the rest of the red table talk because of course this is only a minute video here, yeah of so course we don't know maybe uh -huh. it was some more so we can probably watch to see yeah. but i ain't gonna lie you start off, if I slap somebody for you, you better start off talking about me. <laughs> damn him. I'll be giving a damn about how good of a man he is. Talk yeah, about me. Yeah. We ain't talking about him right now. Now, I would end on the note where she was talking about yeah. we want people to come together and stuff like that. They're both great men. But you better damn near start off talking about, <laughs> hey, look, my husband was defending me. I wasn't feeling it. He figured he was defending my honor because I'm already feeling some type of way about this. He see yeah. me in closed doors, emotional because of this thing that I have or disease, whatever. Um, yeah. So he just thought he was doing something in my best interest. That's what a husband is gonna do. What he should do. Of Especially course. a good one. You know of what I'm course. saying? Maybe he uh -huh. was a little bit out of line for the situation, which most people could agree on. But yeah. at, the, at the time, his emotions was high and all that stuff. Like, you go in, defend your man. Exactly. For sure. I, I just feel like that has not happened yet. Yeah, I mean, but bro. like he said, we didn't see the whole red carpet interview. Damn that. I ain't see so <laughs> she didn't have. Bro, as soon as the shit happened the next day, I would have been like, hey, yeah. you know, hey, you know. But then again, you know, a lot of the law enforcement were, got involved, so maybe they couldn't speak up on it, too. They could, so. She could have talked. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm trying to help her, but it just don't sound like it's, it. It's, I'm not buying it, bro. Because yeah. it's just like me and my wife. Like, even if we don't agree with one another, 
Well, we don't even give people the benefit of the doubt of not seeing us disagree, like, or seeing us disagree, like, like in a public setting or something yeah. like that. Like, if she's doing something that I don't like, we'll kind of know. You won't each know other. it if we're, you won't know if you're a person looking yeah. outside in, unless you just know us, know us. But outside, he, you going. know, we're going to get on each other's behind outside when no one is around, yeah, when they can't the see us. You know, so you will never see us shake. On the at way all. home or something like that. Like, I'm going to yeah. protect her and defend her regardless, even if she's wrong in the situation. I'll ask her, like, hey, you know, baby, you know, you probably was wrong in this situation. Yeah. You probably need to apologize. She'll tell me the same. Warren, calm down. Don't go too far. Woo -woo -woo. And then when we get in the car, we'll talk about it. But, you know, with situations like this, man, I do feel like. Um, it's an unfortunate situation. It is very unfortunate. I see a husband that, you know, been kind of going through it, especially with social media, all the bullying, everybody saying certain things. Then he's probably seeing her behind closed doors, having alopecia, you know, going through the motions with happiness. Yeah. And, you know, he probably felt like, damn, you know, I got to see her in her, you know, most authentic, raw mm -hmm. form. And somebody can go on, on stage in front of millions of people and make a joke about it. So I can't tell nobody how to react when somebody says something. But I do feel like she should, you know, uh, back her man up a little bit more. Yes, I really sure. just really want her to back him up some more because you know how Will is, bro. We champion it for mm -hmm. Will. He's been doing good for the 17 plus for years centuries. he's been into the yes. in this industry. He's been held, holding up his name pretty mm -hmm. good. So I just feel like, you know, in a moment like this, I feel like Will would have defended her. Like, he I feel like Will would have been like, I mean, it showed it right there with, Jada, the, with the slap. But I'm saying, true. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like if Jada would have been in that situation where, a woman was making a joke about him and she went up there and slapped her and Will would have been like, you know, um, I understand Jada probably, you know, could have changed and figured out how to do that different. I'm sure she would have wanted to do it different, but she was defending me. For and sure. I, I take responsibility because, I, you know, like I feel yeah, like he would have exactly. kind of flipped it around to put it on him, you know, but let us know what y'all think in the comments down below, Please man. Do. I'm, I'm interested to know what y'all think. This is the first time she's like actually publicly yeah, speaking publicly on it. Yeah, publicly spoke about it. Let mm -hmm. us know if we need to go watch the whole full Table Talk interview, if there's more details in there. I'm pretty sure there is, yeah. but I'm just giving y'all everything based off of what she's been giving us since the slap. <laughs> For sure. Which ain't much. Which ain't no defense. <laughs> None. The Rockets. <laughs> Not the Rockets. <laughs> I'm playing, but we catch y'all in the next video, man. It's your boy, Dove. And Nisha. Keep Peace. on subscribing. Okay, now do you see me now? Success is in the making. You've been holding me down for a while. Our conversations, they've been getting to me. You know they getting to me. The expression on your face when you look up to me. It's like when I look